I'm Meg. Welcome to Plant Fit Meg. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I hope you'll take a look around at some other videos while you're here. I make videos about healthy weight loss, simple plant-based recipes, and living a healthy lifestyle. In today's video, I want to share my hash brown tacos. Oh, I'm so excited. I came up with this during my Mary's Mini Challenge, which if you're curious about checking that out, I'll leave my playlist linked here if you haven't seen it or you want to check it out again. If you're unfamiliar with a Mary's Mini, I'll just give you the really short version. Check out my playlist and other videos for more information. But in short, you choose one starch. I chose potatoes and you eat that as the main centerpiece of your meal along with non-starchy vegetables and one piece of fruit per day. And I hosted a challenge and did that for seven days along with many people in the Plant Fit Med community. And it was really fun. I came up with a lot of different uh, recipes and ideas and I came up with this hash brown taco and it was so delicious. I want to share the meal that I ate during the challenge as well as how I changed the filling after the challenge to incorporate my refried bean recipe. I'll also share my potato cheese sauce recipe which is super super delicious. You just need some steamed potatoes and some really simple pantry ingredients and spices. And so I'm really excited to share it with you. If you enjoy this video, remember to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. With that, let's jump right in. I already had some steamed potatoes on hand in the fridge. So I just chopped those up and used those to make my chili spiced potatoes in the oven. So this I had done the day before. They were already prepped and ready to go to just throw into my taco in the morning. I just added a little bit of chili pepper, cumin, and garlic. Shook up the potatoes in this Tupperware container and put them in the oven at 425 for about 20 minutes or so and they were good to go. So I've scrubbed these potatoes and I've set up my griddler here. This is the nonstick Cuisinart griddler and it works really well without any oil. Absolutely love it. Setting it to the grill panini setting and setting it between the high and sear temperature setting. I'm going to grate my potatoes. I'm going to go ahead and put them into a towel. The more that I can dry them out, the easier they'll cook up on the grill. It'll prevent sticking and it'll allow them to crisp up a lot more. So I'm just going to wrap those up in my towel here and give them a good squeeze. And then I'm actually going to wrap them up in another towel and give it another squeeze again, just to try to get as much moisture out of it as possible. I'm adding chili powder, garlic powder, and onion powder to my shredded potatoes. I'll give them a mix and then they'll be ready for the griddler. All right, my griddler's ready to go, so I'm going to place the hash browns onto the grill. I'm going to let them cook for about 20 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and split my hash brown in half. So I'll just cut it in half down the center and I'll use half for one taco and half for another. I've also made smaller tacos using quarters. Um, so splitting it up into four pieces and you get a much smaller taco and you can do it that way as well, but I prefer to just split it in half. I've also tried refrigerating these and then reheating the next day and making a taco that way and that works out quite well if you're putting the hash brown into the microwave it does get a little bit softer but it's surprisingly did still hold together so i was very surprised that that worked out so that's something that you could do as well just be aware that if you're putting it in the microwave it will soften up a little bit more and if you want to retain sort of the crispy exterior you're going to want to either pop it on the grill again or pop it in the oven i chopped up some onion and some peppers 
and just warmed those up on the stove top with some chili powder and cumin and garlic powder and I added a couple tablespoons of salsa and mixed the potatoes in and that was my filling for my hash brown taco during my Mary's mini challenge. It was really delicious, worked out really well and it tasted so good. Oil-free refried beans. I'm gonna run through this recipe super quickly because it's so simple. I have some black beans, salsa, chili powder, cumin, chopped sliced jalapeno, which is completely optional depending on the amount of heat that you enjoy. Keep it super duper simple, mix it up on the stove top for a few minutes, mash it through, mash it to your desired consistency. We like to leave it a little bit chunky, but you could absolutely mash it for longer so that it's more of a soupy or smoother kind of texture. If it starts to get a little dry on the stove top, just add a splash of water, good to go, done, ready to go. Right, up next is my potato cheese sauce. I wanted a cheese sauce that I could use during the Mary's mini challenge. So I decided I would experiment with my own recipe that I usually make with oats. So I substituted and played around with the ratios a little bit and came up with this delicious potato cheese sauce. So I'm using two cups of steamed yellow potatoes. I'm adding four tablespoons of nutritional yeast, one and a half teaspoons each of chili powder and onion powder, and half a teaspoon of cumin. Two tablespoons of salsa, two teaspoons of miso. If you don't have miso on hand or you can't find it, no worries. You can use a teaspoon of tamari or soy sauce in its place. One teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon of pickled jalapeno juice, which is optional, just adds a bit more spice to it. A teaspoon of sliced pickled jalapenos. Again, that's optional just for some added heat. And starting with one cup of water to blend it up. You can always add more water if you'd like to thin it out and make it a thinner consistency. It will thicken up in the refrigerator as well. So that's something to keep in mind. If it does seem a little bit too thick once it's been in the fridge, no worries, super easy to resolve that issue. Just add a little bit of water, mix it up, good to go. So here's my lovely hash brown. And I've added spinach here. I've added my refried beans. I've added some salsa, corn, my delicious cheese sauce, and there we have it. Epic hash brown taco. So delicious, such a surprise that this worked out as well as it did. It was a bit of an experiment for me originally, and now it's something I've been making multiple times a week. I also wanted to mention briefly some information about my shirt. I don't know if the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine is still selling these Let's Beat Breast Cancer shirts, but it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and they are putting out a four week challenge that started at the beginning of October to basically develop healthy behaviors to reduce your breast cancer risk. And they have four steps to do that. One is to eat plant-based foods, one is to exercise regularly, the other is to limit alcohol, and the last one is to maintain a healthy body weight. And so you can sign up for the challenge at letsbeatbreastcancer.org. I'm not sponsored or affiliated or anything with PCRM. I just think it's a great way to uh, get some new material, new recipes, new ideas for plant-based eating and living a healthy lifestyle and reducing your breast cancer risk. So I thought I'd just throw it out there. I bought this shirt uh, last year, so I'm not sure if they're still selling the shirts, um, but you can sign up for free for the challenge and they send resources and ideas and recipes and things along the way. So go ahead and sign up if you're interested to get some free resources and to work towards reducing your future risk of breast cancer. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video and watching through to the end. I hope that you enjoyed the video and that you'll try out some of the recipes that I included here. 
Also feel free to jazz them up and make them your own and do what works for you. You could use uh, different fillings, like I think a spicy lentil filling would be really yummy. I'm also planning on testing out the hash browns to use as a bun for my chickpea burgers. So I'll link that recipe in the description box as well in case you want to check it out and I will keep you guys posted and let you know how it goes. Be sure to follow me on social media at PlantFitMeg on Instagram and Facebook where I can update you about my chickpea burger hash brown bun experiments and you can see other food that I'm eating. I have what I eat in a day content there and I'm planning on doing a little bit more fitness content over there as well. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video and you found the recipes helpful. If you have any questions or comments, of course, leave them in the comment section below. I love to have chats with you guys in the comment section, so feel free to leave questions, leave comments, chat with each other, chat with me, all that good stuff. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!